I warn you. They were making a huge bow. Huge bow. On this fabric. In my stash. I did have other plans for it. But that's okay. Today we're wearing the one, the only. We're going to make a corset. And that's gonna be the base that the bow sits on top of. So let's start with that. We're gonna be using a mood pattern. I'm gonna start with the scraps. Here we go. We're starting this project off right with some ironing. Before I cut into the untouched sections of fabric, I wanted to try and make use of some larger fabric scraps. With all the fabric straightened, it was now time to cut out all the pattern pieces. As mentioned before, I used the Helen Castillo X Mood Fabrics corset pattern, linked down below. I cut out one set for the shell, one set for the lining, and one set in the fabric fusible interfacing. And now, for my favorite activity, ironing. I ironed the interfacing onto the lining panels, which boning would be attached to later. Some of the interfacing was cut to the exact shape of the patterns, but I also had quite a bit of interfacing offcuts that I was determined to use. Sewing. For the front, I have pinned pieces two, three, and four together on either side. So those three pieces will be sewn together. And I have not pinned pieces one and five. The fabric that I'm going to use to create the bow effect will be sewn in between these seams. So I need to cut that first before sewing it closed. So that's the shell, the front. For the lining, I have pinned the entire thing together. That's going to be sewn as one piece, and I'm also going to sew boning. I'm going to sew boning onto each seam as well as along the sides where we put the eyelets. The bow. 
For this pin condition, I cut four rectangles measuring 60 inches by 16 inches for the main body. For the tails, I cut rectangles measuring 80 inches by 7 inches, which I then tapered at the ends. Unfortunately for me, I didn't check that I was tapering in two different directions. So they're both facing the same way, but it's okay. It's okay. I wanted the tails of the bow to wrap around the body, so I needed to create channels for wire to go through each side of the tail. Which means that I, I did, which means that I, ooh, which means that I additionally cut out rectangles measuring 82 inches by 2 inches. I cut out these channels in the same fabric because they would be visible. I want the boning and or wire, haven't decided yet, on the bow to be removable for storage purposes. So I need to make a boning casing that will give me access to the boning and or wire. The solution that emerged was to cut the boning channels into two with one side being significantly longer than the other. Then I would finish off the two sides of the strips that face each other as well as the bottom and sew them in a manner similar to an envelope pillowcase but without the overlap so that there would be an opening. Yeah? Thumbs up? I'm holding a thumbs up right now. Can you hear it? Search the ends. I'm gonna turn this inside out. Turning this inside out. Same for the tails. It was time to assemble the bow. For the main body, I gathered the two edges of the rectangle. On the pattern pieces, I marked one inch down from the top. That is piece one and piece five. And I sewed everything in place. Now to attach the middle section and the tails.
it's finally time to put the wires in. I'm very excited about this. It is a moment of truth. Oh, problem. The tail pieces and the center piece are too heavy for that part of the bodice. I should have added boning. I should have added a vertical piece of boning down the center and then a horizontal piece of boning across the top. It's all good though. I really don't want to undo the corset because this fabric does not take to being unseamed well and I've already unseamed it a few times. So instead I'm gonna sew some boning on a separate piece of fabric and then I'm gonna try and hand stitch it on top. I don't want to sew with the machine on top because avoiding seams, avoiding seams. Wish me luck. I just finished the pink corset, put the boning in, it's looking good, it's looking good, here's a sneak peek, but, but before I show it to you, we're going to make another one with a smaller bow that stands up using this curtain fabric. I'm coming too close to the camera, it washes it off quite a bit gold. I'm gonna be using the cerise pattern, cerise corset pattern. So let's get into it. I did some research in order to figure out how to make the main body of the bow stand up. It turns out that I needed a layer of heavy stiffener. I used the fusible type, though I did not iron it onto the fabric. I made some changes to the positioning of the tails. Instead of sewing them to the top of the corset as I did with the pink one, I altered the front panel by cutting it in half and adding seam allowance so that I could sew the tails into the middle of the front. I like this look a lot better, but it did end up dragging the front down a bit, so it definitely needed more reinforcement than I gave it. I did put boning along each side of the seam, but that clearly wasn't all that it needed. And here I am in the throes of birth, trying to get everything through to the right side. 
This was, for some reason, far more difficult than the pink version. I'm very very pleased with this project. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and all that other good stuff that helps support creators on this platform. Until next time! Bye! Have a great time!